Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick video where I test out a camera I got for real cheap on Wish. I've seen a bunch of photographers use on YouTube and I've also seen just general YouTubers try this out. So I thought, why not? It's the perfect video idea for someone with my kind of budget, which is zero. I was able to find cameras for as cheap as like $5 on Wish. So the one I got is this one. Isn't that cute? I'll admit, this wasn't the cheapest one I could find. I think this one was like, I don't remember, it was like $10, $15, $16, something like that. But it was just so pretty, I couldn't say no to it. So this is what it looks like. Cute little pink camera. It's very small, it's like size of my palm. Small screen. So this takes a micro USB, which I have bought a new one because I only have one that works and it's in my GoPro right now. So I had to buy another one for this. I put it in there. It was very hard to get in. It also came with like a tiny little wrist strap, but the little string to hook it onto the camera is actually too big to actually fit through the hole that's on here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, it came already charged, but it also came with a charger. Pretty standard looking charger. Like the cord I'll probably use for other stuff. I brought it outside on a nice sunny day because from what I know about photography, of course, lighting is very important. And a lot of times I've learned, because I used to love using like Holgas and stuff like that, that a good way around a lot of problems with the camera is have more light. So um, I turned it on in my apartment and just in my apartment, it like could barely see anything. Though my apartment is like a cave. It's like I'm Batman. So it's very dark in my apartment, so it's not terribly surprising I couldn't see anything. But it was light enough to where like, you know, I could see. So let's test this out. So first I'm gonna turn this on to hold it down. I had a hard time turning it on earlier. There it goes. See, cute little screen. You have to wait for this to go away. Let me take a shot. Yeah, there it goes, see? Everything's very dark, as you can tell. Press the button. Makes a cute little sound. I'm not really sure how to view the photos. Ah, press random buttons. Oh no, this is video! Oh cool, it takes video! I am so surprised this thing takes video. Wow! Then again, I did buy this like over a month ago, so I don't remember what all the listings said. It did, so. I just remember it was cheap and it was for children. So, how do I turn the video off? There it goes. Well, that's neat. Now it's back on camera mode. Now, here's the settings. It says it takes them at 1080p, which is good. I think that's what I have my GoPro set on for video. Now I don't know if I can actually can change any of these. Is it touch screen? No. Yeah, there's no way to actually edit any of the settings. So let's go take some real shots with it. So I thought I would first try out the little toy camera on some pretty flowers. Now we're in the sunlight. I'm actually gonna move over a little bit so I'm not making a shadow. Cause I thought the dramatic light could add some like visual interest in the photo that otherwise may not be there. So I'm gonna take it from various different like distances just to see which one works out best. So I don't know what any of the settings are on this camera. seems very dull and unsaturated on the screen. So I'm looking forward to see how it looks when I actually get them on my own computer. I feel like if I take enough shots, one of them is bound to come out. Now I'm gonna try one where the subject is a little further away. 
to see maybe it will come out better that way. So I'm going to take a shot of this door of the historic city hall. And just like the other one, I'm going to try this several different like distances away from the door just to see which one came out best. So I'm going to try one closer and then work my way further out. summer so that'd be nice to take a picture of this I keep forgetting the viewfinder spake I keep wanting to look through it oh lord now I'm gonna try some like different angles I'm gonna try getting an angle where it's like really low looking up and see if that helps me. Like visually interesting. I cannot see the screen at all. But I really cannot get lower than this. Because of my skirt and just in general moving it's flexible. I really think they're taking me over. But I really like the sidewalk here with the grass coming out of it. I really like it. I think it's pretty. So I want to try and get some of that in the shot. I just, I cannot see the screen at all in the sunlight. See anything like this ball? Nope. Nope. Not better. Not better. Now I'm just taking a bunch of shots like blindly and hoping something comes out. I, just, I cannot see the screen at all from the Okay. Hopefully some of that will come out. Yeah, in bright sunlight, I cannot see the screen at all. Now is my last shot. I'm going to take a shot of this rooftop bar they have up there. You can't, I don't know if you can really see it in my GoPro. I'm not even sure if I'm pointing exactly right where it is. This is way over there on the corner. And as another attempt to see if things far away will work. Also, I think with how bright it is, I think that might help some. Because, like I was saying earlier, I can clearly see on the screen that everything seems really dark. Now, I don't know if that's just the screen or that's actually how the photos are going to turn out. I'm not sure. So, let's see. Maybe it could zoom, but it can't. Obviously, I feel like I feel kind of dumb for thinking it could have when it doesn't even have a viewfinder. It's just a sticker. So I'm done taking shots of this. So time to turn it off. So in case you can't tell from the different shirt and different makeup. That is the next day. Pretty soon after I shot all that, my GoPro battery died. But anyway, it gave me time to go through all the photos and video and stuff from the little pink camera. So I'm going to put them on the screen right here. So I did notice that none of the pictures from the little pink camera came out in focus at all. Nothing up close, nothing far away. Nothing. So that was kind of a bummer. I mean, obviously I didn't expect a whole lot from a camera from Wish, 
but I expected to get something at least marginally in focus. Because I feel like that's like one of the basic functions of a camera. Though I will say the one thing I do like about it is it does kind of give an interesting kind of visco kind of look to the photos, which I do like. I do like that. Um, I do like how it handles the sky. I think it makes the sky a very interesting shade, which I recognize really has a lot to do with, you know, the weather of the day that I went out. But I do think it makes the blues interesting looking. And I like the shot here where it has a good bit of the grass and the sky in it because I think the way it handles colors and everything, sort of like, like I was saying, a visco effect, I think that it makes the greens and blues look visually interesting. And so I really like those. I just wish it was in focus. But I really can't expect too much from like a cheap little camera I got off Wish. So that's the end of my video where I trade in my normal everyday camera, which is a Canon EOS Rebel T3i. I normally have a flash on top, but I can't find it right now. I think it's like in the trunk of my car or something. And I tried that one in for this little pink one here that I got off Wish for real cheap. Tested it out a little bit just to see if we can get some basic like nature shots or something. I knew from the very beginning it wasn't about getting adventures, so I didn't even bother trying. If you like this video, please like and comment. And if you want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button. Bye!